my god, this movie is bad. YouTubers, this is logic seeking lady speaking. Ay, 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 this movie is horrible. It's really, really horrible. And I, as always, bring you the logic behind the movies of today. <laughs> it's so bad. Unbelievable. Oh my god, this is really crappy. You know what movie we're gonna I'm gonna review today? You know which one it is? I can't, I will give you three clues. It's it's big, it's blue, and it's a piece of shit. It's none other than <laughs> the Smurfs movie. Oh my god, this is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Um, yeah, well, I'll get to why it's so, so bad in this review. But I have to put up some rules first. Rule number one, you're probably asking by even listening to this, are you a Smurf fan? Yes, I am. And I have been a Smurf fan for many, many years. And it's not gonna change because of this <laughs> horrible movie that should have never been made. So, yes, I'm a Smurf fan. Right down to the bone. So. And the second rule is don't say I suck. Because believe me, you don't wanna get a fight with me. And I don't want to fight with you. So, with that out of the way, let's stop smurfing around and get on with this movie review, shall we? Sorry, I couldn't resist. It's what this movie does to you. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's look at the, the fortunate director that got that were uh, that was allowed to make this movie. It is none other than Raja Cosnell. Uh yeah. Um how to explain his career. Yes, let me explain it like this. He is fir the first movie that he directed was Home Alone 3. Yeah, you know the first move Home Alone movie without Macaulay Culkin. And then we have, these are just some examples by the way, Big Mama's House. Yes, very inspirational to make a movie about a guy dressing up like a fat woman. Yes, that's very inspirational. Uh, then we have, uh, I have my paper right here. Then we have, uh, then we have Beverly Hills Chihuahua, you know, the movie that gave uh, that that gave a chi a people that owned the Chihuahua a good excuse to the to just put their dogs in front of the TV and then just go do whatever they did normally. And uh, yeah, what else do we have? We have, uh, oh yes, let's not forget the two first Scooby-Doo movies. Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. They were awesome, weren't they? No, they were crap. Filled with stereotypes and not funny. So, yeah. That is uh, pretty m much it. And oh, that's n let's not forget this abomination. And wait, I forgot one. Yes, Alvin and the Chipmunks, all three movies was made by this guy. They were very good, weren't they? Wrong. They were also filled with stereotypes. So as you can see, this guy doesn't really have good reputation in making good movies. 
It's actually quite the opposite. Uh, so yeah. And let's talk about the devel development. A actually, let me uh, uh, let me just ma uh, make you picture it. Uh, imagine this movie being a ball. Yes, a ball. And uh, it gets thrown around uh, between three people. The three people being uh, three uh, film studios. Uh, and the studios are uh, Paramount uh, Pictures, Nickelodeon, Kala, Kala, yes, there there are many actually. But just imagine the uh, the movie studios being kids, and the movie being a ball. Uh, there is uh, Nickelodeon Studios, which got which got the ball in some time. There is uh, uh, Columbia Pictures, which got the ball uh, another amount of time. Uh, there is a blue sky animation no no not s sorry not blue sky sony animation that was that was the right sony animation pictures and then we have yes which one else did we have just wait a minute uh, uh yes just wait a little minute um uh where was it? I have it on my paper here. And uh, then... Then... Uh, first... It was a fight between... Fighting for this movie like a ball. It was Paramount Pictures. Nickelodeon Pictures. Uh, and... Uh, yeah. And also... Uh, uh, wha uh, wait a minute, I, I have just to see, uh, uh, to see here, um, and, and yes, it was just a mess, it was, it's just a mess because we have, we have over two, two or even more studios fighting, fighting over a movie and that made this movie a mess it just made this movie a mess well I have uh, said enough about the deve development but as you can see it's not that good the development it took very very long it was it was a real it it was originally uh, supposed to, you know, um, be released in 2010, but uh, the date was pu pulled back and forth, so it uh, once was, uh, so it wa first it was supposed to be December 17, 2010, but was pushed to July 29, 2011 to avoid competition with, um, Yugi Bear and Throne Legacy, then it was pushed back to August 3, 2011, and then it was pushed even further back to July 29, 2011, which is the release date in the cinema, it, it finally released. So that was four times that happened. It's not very good when you e can even get your uh, finishing date correct. Then it also becomes a mess. Not finishing date, releasing date. They couldn't even get that right. That means this movie was just a mess. Well, stay tuned to part two.